Hello everyone, my name is Sakina Zariwala from Sri Vaishnav Institute of Forensic Science and in this video I am going to explain you steganography. This video is going to be really interesting as uh, till the end of the video I will explain you how to hide a secret message behind an image and behind an audio. First we will go through the theoretical part. So what is steganography? Steganography is a Greek word where stegnos means covered or protected and graphy means writing. So basically steganography means hiding one piece of data within another. So we'll see this example if you see the sentence. So if you consider the first letters of this sentence, it forms a meaningful word that is secret inside. So this is an example of text steganography, right? So uh, we'll see how steganography actually works. So we'll give a secret message and cover as a input and then input to the stego system encoder and then the stego system encoder will convert this secret message and cover into a stego object. Now if the receiver has the key then the stego system decoder will separate the uh, secret message and original cover. And the message will be seen. Now we'll go th go through the history of steganography. So, uh, in the reign of Herodotus in 440 BC, we were able to see the evidences of steganography. In the reign of Demaritus, he sent a warning about a forthcoming attack to Greece by writing it directly on the wooden backing of a wax tablet before applying its beeswax surface. Wax tablets were very commonly used those in those days as it was very reusable. In ancient Chinese, uh, what they did, they uh, wrote messages on fine silk which was then crunched into a tiny ball and covered in wax. The messenger then swallowed it and sent it to the receiver. Also, special inks were uh, being discovered uh, in the Second World War. Also, a technique was developed where they photographically shrinked a page into a dot and uh, it, the, the, it was converted into a millimeters and then the innocuous letter were, was sent. Uh, the evolution of technography includes firstly we used watermarkings then cryptography came and now uh, stegography is used. So what is cryptography? So we'll see the difference between cryptography and steganography. So basically cryptography is a technique to convert secret message into human readable form. So what we are doing, we are converting plain text into a cipher text in cryptography. While in cryptography, we are not changing the message. We are just hiding it behind a cover image. So cryptography is a kind of known communication and steganography is a kind of hidden communication. Cryptography alters the overall structure of the data and steganography does not alter the overall structure of the data. The final result obtained is known as ciphertext and the final result obtained is known as stegomedia and steganography, right? And in cryptography, once it has been discovered, no one can easily get the secret message. But in steganography, once it has been discovered, anyone can get the secret data. But it's very difficult for the eavesdropper to know that there is some data being sent in steganography, right? Now, we'll see how we can merge both uh, steganography and cryptography. So, firstly, in this part, what we are doing, we are uh, doing cryptography. We are converting the plain text into cipher text by encryption. Then we are hiding this cipher text into a cover image and we are forming stego image. Now if, if, the, if the receiver has the key, then he will be able to convert the cipher text by decoding it and uh, by, uh, by decryption it will be converted into plain text. So before going further, uh, I, I'll, I'll like to explain you the steganography term so, get, so that it gets easier for you to understand. So firstly it's carrier or cover file. Uh, so a cover file is a original message or a file in which the hidden information will be sto stored inside of it. Stego medium, the medium in which the information is hidden. So the stego medium can be of any type like image, video, audio, right? Uh, embedded or payload. The information which is to be hidden or concealed. This is our secret message, right? 
and stegger analysis the process of detecting hidden information inside a file so basically this is decipherment of our secret message now uh, stegography is uh, many types so one one of its type is text stegography so text stegography can be applied to any file format like it can be pdf form digital watermark or information hiding right it is more difficult to realize the information hiding based on text Uh, so there are various methods used for text stenography and one of the tool is texto so what it does it set up some sentence structure in advance fills in the empty location by arranged words and then text doesn't have phraseological mistakes but have some changes or morphology mistakes morphology means they are repetitive mistakes right and in the text hide hides the information in the man manner of text overwriting and word selection right so the uh, the various other methods of text stenography are uh, using html uh, so what we are doing we are uh, hiding the message inside a html tag so that tag can be any uh, paragraph tag or heading tag so we are hiding our message into a uh, hypertext markup language uh, another method is text stenography in specific characters in words then it then comes line shifting method word shifting method open spaces semantic method and character encoding now uh, this is the diagram of text stenography so we are giving cover image and text as the input and we are encrypting it the encryption algorithm will work on it and it will encrypt it and then it will convert it into stego image then the decoding comes and the decryption algorithm will decode it and convert it again into cover image and text now comes the image stenography in image stenography what are we doing the basically we are using image as the cover uh, co cover file so we are hiding our message behind an image right so some of the main methods of image uh, stenography are image domain methods and transform domain methods so what we are doing in image and transform domain in image uh, domain we are just embedding the message in the intensity of the pixels directly and in the transform domain we are transforming the image message and message and, and and then the message is embedded in the image so we are this transformation is done using some kind of algorithms and other kind of image transforms and uh, the in image domain what we are doing we are uh, using bit insertion and noise manipulation right and another uh, method is least significant bit method this is also called redundant bit method so what we are doing we are doing we are just embedding our secret message into those redundant bits of the image that are not used uh, used as a pixel uh, that are not used in the image right so these are the least significant bit so every eighth bit of the image is redundant bit and some or all of the bytes inside an image is changed to a bit of the secret message uh in other words one can store three bits in each pixel so an 800 into 60 pixel image can thus store a total amount of 14 lakh 40000 bits or uh, 1 lakh 80000 bytes of embedded data right so lsb makes use of bmp images that is uh, bmp is a file format for uh, digital images right now i'll show you the demo for image stenography so firstly we'll go to the browser and we'll type s tool stenography download now go to the iowin.net link and download the s tool right now go to downloads and extract the zip file click on extract all and extract the folder and then click on the folder and then click on s tool right now give the microsoft per permissions and then install the s tool
right now split the screen and drag the original zebra file into the s tool this is our cover image now right click uh, and form a new folder that is text document in the format of text document and uh, name it whatever you want to name and then drag that file into the cover image you can write anything in the text uh, text file so here i am writing this is demo this is demo for technography right i'll save it and now i'll drag it into the cover image as soon as i'll drag it it will ask me to form a password so you can type any kind of password and you can choose the algorithm you want to perform and then will we can also save it from here or we can reveal we can again type the password will verify the password and click okay now this is our revealed file now we'll save it wherever we want to and now in the downloads we'll see that our hidden file that we we have deciphered our secret message so we got our so we encoded it and then we decoded it so basically we covered the file then we we covered the file and if you want to send it to somebody you can send it to that person and if that person has the password will 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 be able to decipher it and find the hidden message right now we'll come to audio stenography so as we covered the secret message behind the image now we'll hide the secret message behind an audio right so in audio stenography methods can embed messages in wav format au format and even mp3 sound files right so now i'll show you the demo of audio stenography now again go to the browser and type deep sound free download and download the now go to uh, the github link and download the deep sound i had downloaded it beforehand only and then if you'll install it from the downloads then you will be able to see the deep sound now go to open carrier file and choose the audio file in which you want to cover the secret message now add secret file and then add the file you want to hide and then encode it now provide the password you can also choose the file format and file path now provide the password whatever you want to like and then encode the secret file so we have we have uh, done the stenography of the file now we'll see where our audio file is saved and then so this is our audio file so you can see that nobody can know that there is some kind of secret message behind it now for the i will also show you how to decipher it so again close the deep sound and open it again and then drag that hidden audio file stego audio file and then type the password right and then extract click on extract secret files and it will perform the decoding progress once it's done click on okay and you will find the stenography text now again go to the file path given below and you will see that our hidden file has been deciphered and we have got the file that we had 
stagnosed before right so this was the demo of stagnography now we'll see network stagnography so network stagnography also known as protocol stagnography so in the network stagnography what we are doing we are hiding the message behind some of the networking protocols like tcp udp icmp ip right so in the in the image and audio stagnography what were our cover it was image and audio but in network stagnography our protocols are 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 covers right so it assen uh, it essentially utilizes network protocols and then characteristics as a carrier medium to conceal secret messages right so network stagnography exploits these structures by manipulating certain bits or fields within the headers in a predefined way to embed the secret message so basically what it's doing it's manipulating the headers of these protocols and then hiding the message inside it now we'll discuss the application of stagnography so these are that uh, conf confidential communication and secret data storing stagnography provides us with potential capability to hide the existence of confidential data hardness of detecting the hidden data strengthening of the secrecy of encrypted data protection of data alteration access control system for digital content distribution right now we'll discuss the applications on the basis of use it can be alleged used by terrorist alleged used by intelligent services medical data privacy law inform by law inform enforcement investigations digital watermarking by copyright holder also it can be used by mili for the military communication right now i'll uh, uh, tell you about some of the stagnography tools that we can use so first is s tool that we used before in the image stagnography it uh, it is used mainly for gifs and jpg format files then stagheide it is uh, for the wav format and bmp format wav format is basically for videos then it's invisible secrets it is again for jpg then jpg hide again for jpg camouflage and hiderman right now we'll discuss the future scope of stagnography stagnography is uh, actually fairly a new idea now right now people are not much aware of stagnography but after some time when it people will be aware of it so it will be very it is very likely that there will be soon more efficient and more advanced techniques for stagnography so our intelligence services has to form stagno analysis uh, methods they have to do more and more r&ds for the stag analysis so that they can find out if if crimes are happening related to uh, these so they need to find out the stag analysis methods so that it will be very easy for easier for them to find out the criminals right so a hopeful advancement is the improved sensitivity to small messages knowing how difficult it is to detect the presence of fairly large text file within an image imagine how difficult it is to detect even one or more two sentences embedded in an image so it's like a finding microscopic needle in the ultimate haystacks so we really need to work on our stag analysis so that lesser crimes happens and uh, that's all for today thank you for watching